Honorable Senators, on Thursday, December 13th, over 13 million Ismaili Muslims residing in 25 countries around the world will celebrate His Highness Karim Aga Khan's 82nd birthday. Born in 1936 in Geneva, Switzerland, His Highness succeeded his grandfather as the 49th spiritual leader of the Ismaili Muslims when he was just 20 years old. For more than six decades, His Highness the Aga Khan has worked tirelessly to make our world a better place for all. His Highness has worked for 60 years in providing education for girls and equality for women as he continues to work hard for girls' and women's well-being. Recently, I was asked how His Highness has inspired me personally and professionally. I quickly came to the realization that everything I stand for and everything I have achieved is thanks to the guidance and sacrifices of His Highness the Aga Khan. Senators, I was appointed to the Senate of Canada in 2001 by then Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Jean Chrétien. When I was appointed, I was the first Muslim senator, the first African-born senator, and the first senator of South Asian descent. That is a lot of firsts. I truly believe that this would not have been possible had it not been for the importance of His Highness Prince Aga Khan and his grandfather before him placed on girls' education. The Aga Khan has invested in more than 200 primary and secondary schools in Pakistan, Bangladesh, Kenya, Kyrgyz Republic, Uganda, Tanz Tanzania, and, and Tajikistan. I personally received a world-class education in Kampala, Uganda at the Aga Khan Nursery, Primary, and Secondary Schools. Honorable Senators, we are all incredibly fortunate. We currently live in an era of Me Too movements and women's marches. Today, women's empowerment is something politicians campaign on and pop stars write songs about. We forget that while women's education may now be common and popular sentiment, 62 years ago, this was most certainly not the case. On the occasion of his 82nd birthday, I would like to thank His Highness the Aga Khan for the tremendous sacrifices that he has made throughout his lifetime not only for Ismaili Muslims, but for people all over the world, especially for those who are most vulnerable. I want to say to His Highness, I personally would not have the honor and privilege of standing in this chamber had it not been for his investment and belief in women's education. Honorable Senators, I ask you to join me in wishing one of our honorary Canadians, His Highness the Aga Khan, bon anniversaire. On a personal note, Senators, I am, as you know, struggling, and I know that my struggle would be much harder if I did not have you, you all helping me. From the many calls and notes from the speaker and all of you, to your love today while I have been in the chamber, I cannot thank you enough. All I can humbly say, thank you for your love, your support, and your friendship. It will help me in my struggle. Thank you very much.